Hello everyone, it is your girl Juliana aka Life is Juliana and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how I transform my master bedroom window treatment. Cheap and affordable and on an extreme friendly budget but the thing was massive and the thing looked so good. Without breaking the bank, I'm going to share my tricks and traits with you. So if you're here watching me doing this for your very first time, be sure you have subscribed if you have not already. Go ahead and do so and then turn on your post notifications so you will always know when I upload a brand new video. You won't miss the videos, am I right? Because I'm important. So make sure so you turn it on, all right? Okay now, so these are uh, window panels that I'm using here. I bought these in Didi's discount store and they were $9.99 each. It's, it's really, really pretty and they do have it in the different, different colors. This one is gold and it has a little bit of a silver type of a tone to it, but it is really, really pretty. It, it does come in white and gold as well and silver and white. It is really nice, y'all. $9.99 in DD's discount store. Now I'm going to be using these as well, these curtain holders, and I did find that in the department store in Jones Bar. I'm also going to be using some clear white panels, and these curtains are also from the discount store in Jones Bar as well, and those were $5.99. So we're going to go ahead and get these set up. Now the rods that I'm using here are only $0.99, cents, y'all this is what i use for my bedroom for all the curtains in all the bedrooms these are what i use they're very cheap and affordable you don't have to break the bank to have beautiful window settings so just go ahead get it, get it and get it go go ahead and get it um i did buy it in the dollar general for 99 cents
Okay, y'all, I'm gonna walk you through what I did, ex exactly what I did to achieve that look. Now, the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and put the main palette panel on first, right? Then the shorter piece, you go ahead and you push that through one side first. Then you put the white clear panel or whatever you choose to put in the middle, you're going to, cause that's going to be your centerpiece. So you go ahead and put that on. Then you go ahead and you attach the other side of the shorter panel. So you're only using one section only. And then you put on the other side. And that's it. That's it. It's very simple. And it looks really, really good. Very simple, but it looks really, really good. Now, once you get it up, right, like that, once you connect it on the wall, now you're going to decide if you want to have that center panel over the white charter piece or if you want it laying in the back. So that's going to be your option, if that makes any sense. You are going to decide if you want that center piece to be flowing forward or backward. I chose to have mine flowing backward, but it does look just as good if you have it flowing uh, in the front. This, that's your choice. But overall, it does look good, and then you choose whatever you want to hold the curtain with. And I did buy these in Jonesboro, and I paid $5.99 for the set, and they're very, very pretty. And that's it. it for now y'all please share the love with friends and family and don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up on your way out and i guess i will see you in my next video talk to you later bye